had a phase where I would pretty much only wear basic tees like this. I would not ever get any shirts that had any designs or words or anything like that. But now I've pretty much just fallen in love with graphic tees. They're like the only thing that I wear anymore. I always end up getting them oversized so that I can either tie them or tuck them in. And then I always end up rolling the sleeves. And this is what I like to call my Where's Waldo shirt because, well, you can see. And if you're looking at the shirt and you're thinking, is that Peppa Pig on a champion shirt? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> My friend actually got the shirt from China from what was equivalent to like four US dollars. And they had a bunch of Peppa Pig X designer brands like Gucci and Versace. <laughs> On the rare occasion that I have somewhere nice to go to, these are one of the tops that I might wear, but I really don't have that many just because if I'm trying to look nice, I would usually go for a skirt or a dress. It's kind of insane how many long sleeve and sweater type tops that I have considering that where I live, probably 10 out of 12 of the months in the year, it is super hot and not appropriate for sweaters, but whenever I see a cute sweater, I just can't help but buy it. <laughs> Also, can we talk about how flannels used to be the thing and everybody used to have like at least five or six pairs of flannels, but now I don't think I've seen anybody wear flannels in at least a year. I got this sweater for my 10th birthday and I'm now 16 and it's still big on me. I bought this sweater in 6th grade as part of a Minions costume for Halloween and at the time I thought that I would never wear it besides that day but now it's become one of my favorite sweaters just because it's so comfy. I really love cardigans because I feel like they really pull an outfit together. I actually wore this cardigan so much that I got a hole in it, but I refused to throw it away, so I stitched up that hole and I'm still wearing it. When I went to Harvard, I was looking for a sweatshirt like this for so long and everything that we could find was like $40 or $50. And then we walked past the 7-Eleven and this magical sweatshirt was in the window for $20. If you guys don't know who Joey Kinney is, Joey Kinney is my favorite YouTuber and this sweatshirt is from his merch line. I don't actually think he sells this model of the happy hoodie anymore. I think he's upgraded to like a newer model, but regardless, I love my original happy hoodie. I'm not a huge fan of the denim jacket because I just feel like the material is super stiff and I can't like move around really in it, but I'm planning on painting the back maybe to salvage it, make it a little bit more unique, I guess. This is my favorite jacket. i had been looking for an oversized denim jacket like this for so long and I wanted it to be not too form fitting and not too cropped, but at the same time not too big and looking like it didn't fit me right. And so this was a perfect in between.